In this video, we're going to try and identify which two sets show equivalent fractions. Now remember, equivalent fractions are two fractions that are equal to each other, meaning they represent the same amount of space. Let's start at the top here. One half and two fourths. What I'm going to do is I'm going to represent both of those with a circle. First, I'll represent one half. I'm going to do that by breaking the circle into two equal pieces and shading in one of them. Now I'll do the same with two-fourths. I'll break it into four equal pieces and shade two of them. As you can see, one-half takes up the exact amount of space as two-fourths, meaning that these two fractions are equivalent. And the way that we do, we, the way we know that is if you multiply the top by two and the bottom by two, one times two is equal to two, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Let's move over to 2 thirds and 4 sixths. If I have 2 thirds represented in one rectangle and 4 sixths represented in another rectangle of the same size, you could see that these two fractions will take up the same amount of space, meaning that they are equal. And once again, this is true because if we perform the same operation on the top and the bottom, we'll get an equivalent fraction. One half and three fourths. Let's think about this one. Again, I'm going to use circles. So if I color in half over here, and if I represent three fourths by breaking this circle into four pieces and shading in three, I could see that these are not equal. They are not equal. They are not equivalent fractions. And 2 thirds and 2 sixths, well, I could just picture that 2 thirds takes up most of a rectangle, and 2 sixths, well, 2 out of 6 equal pieces would take up a lot less than that. So these are not equal either. It's very helpful to visualize the fractions when determining whether or not they're equivalent, but also try to multiply and see whether or not it, it becomes true. For instance, here we'd have to multiply 1 times 3 to equal 3, which means the bottom would have to be multiplied by the same, but 2 times 3 is not 4, it is 6. Same thing over here, 2 times 1 would be equal to 2, but 3 times 1 is not 6.